top selling SKU is called Memory of My Ex-Girlfriend. <laughs> Kopi Kanangan is a rising grab-and-go coffee brand with more than 900 stores across Indonesia and Malaysia and over 5,000 employees. You know, that joke actually becomes a $1 billion joke. Indonesians are among the world's biggest coffee lovers, but the country lacks its own global coffee brand. If you go to London, if you go to America, you always see a cup of Java, a cup of Sumatra. Java coffee is very famous, but when uh, people ask you, have you seen a coffee cafe concept from Indonesia? You have never actually seen one, but our ambition is to become a global coffee company representing uh, you know, high quality Indonesian coffee to the world. I think the future is the technology. Our technology can help to close the gap and make sure they reach more customers. With technology, I can amplify the reach and ensure that it's being followed through and executed. However, on the path to establishing his coffee empire, Edward encountered a major challenge, finding enough talent. Click, pay, deliver. The Kopi Kanangan concept also needed solid support from an innovative tech team, especially with demand surging. We actually did the research together with uh, other unicorns in Indonesia. In China and India, there are millions of engineers graduating from uh, universities every year. Indonesia is the fact that there is an undersupply of engineers. To supplement his local team, Edward turned to a chief technology officer 5,000 kilometers away. Monday, you will get everything ready, at least for the company setup, right? And then for the data, metadata, UM. We have two countries in two countries. The design, research, and the design of the UM. Tell my CTO, right? Please download um, you know, Yum China app, Starbucks app, Luckin app because those three are very, very good, right? I think it's such a waste if we don't take inspiration from them. So, in China, many of the things that have happened in the past are happening in the past. Because they are very willing to share their experience with China. It's like, I think we are very proud of ourselves. And the inner team of having a Chinese community in China is also very proud of themselves. So, they are very proud of themselves in many times. They never say, we have a Chinese community. Even when many people go to the conference, we have a very good Chinese community. Using the best experience of both countries, Edward is steadily expanding his local team. Indonesia currently ranks fifth in the world in terms of new startups. This success has its origins 10 years ago. Right? So definitely, uh, you know, China is uh, pretty much top of the world in terms of technology adoption. Uh, last time I went to China, I believe that everything is digital. Pak Jokowi, our president, really put emphasis on uh, putting fast internet to Indonesia. And I do believe that Indonesia is on the way there.